musical Taliban number one. We go nice it up. We go nice it up. Nice it up. Come on, let's go nice it up. Nobody want the gaga. They make a bring the gaga. Hello, this is Freddy Wilder, your man about town, asking you in for another super session of your special program, People, Events, and Places on Television, Pep TV for short. What we do is take you to see or to meet interesting personalities around the world. We can also take you to see events, big events that happen everywhere, and then we show you places. Don't go anywhere because we are loaded to bring you all the superlative things that you desire to make your day. Come back, I have by my side a man of many parts from banking and finance to working in Central Bank and then to playing some music and then engineering music. He eventually made an album. A big album that every Nigeria remembers is also acting at this moment. Well, me welcome NDK to the set of uh, People, Events and Places. So, Thank you very much. Yeah. I feel honored being here. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, whenever I remember your music, Positive Change, let's revolutionize Nigeria. It's always, always playing every October first. It reminds me of how Nigeria has fared. And I begin to wonder what made you do that song at that time. Uh, in fact, that uh, album is futuristic. The song is futuristic in the sense that uh, that time I was just a very young man. And I sensed what was going on in Nigeria. A lot of things were just going down, degenerating. You look at the people in the offices, look at the authorities, look at how that whole album is, I, I call it positive change. It's talking about morals and spiritual development. You know, uh, there's a song there, let us revolutionize Africa. Let us revolutionize the nation. Let us revolutionize Nigeria. He said, at the end, he said, I'm talking about moral revolution. I'm also talking about a spiritual revolution. Absence of all this will lead us to destruction. And you see what has happened since uh, 1991 when that album was released. You know, we, it, 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 it appears Nigeria is lacking in all this. Do you regret that since that time, whatever you talked about is still happening worse than before? Yeah, I regret. You talked about the civil service in that album. Yes. That song. Yeah. Now the civil service. Yeah, they, you know, you that, that, yeah. In, in that album, I talked about unqualified people being on seat. Yes. Unqualified people being on seat. You know? It's so, it's so, it's unimaginable when you have somebody who is qualified, who knows the job, you put him away just because of one thing, tribalism. maybe tribalism, nepotism, tribalism. religionism, favoritism, and all those things. And how do you expect that job to be properly done? It right. can't be done. Travels. It can't be done. Now, let's so, and that's what big problem we have in Nigeria. Nigeria. Just talk about the process that made you record that album. Okay. Nigeria used to have Lucky Song Splash. Nigeria used to have plenty of musical events and entertainment events everywhere. But for now, it doesn't seem to be happening the way it was. Lucky brought you out. You yes. won a championship. Yes. The Lucky Singing Championship. Yeah. got a contract. Yeah. Then we were working with EMI. Yes. Tell me a little bit about that contract. Yes, uh, there was this lucky competition and it was lucky songs for show. And I won, you know, winning Polygram Records, Records then signed me on. By the way, they're all not here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then uh, by then, the, the, the MD was a white man, a British man. And they signed me on. Chris Agilo was the artist uh, manager. He was the artist manager. And they saw my job very good and something that should be given to the people to hear and to contribute to changing the society. So they gave me the contract. That was how I recorded that first album. Was there a conflict? You were working in EMI as an engineer 
I'm now recording for Polygram. Was there any kind of conflict? Mm, well, I wouldn't go into that in detail. But I will tell you a little, it's normal for uh, a company where you're working to want to release your album. But they were not the people that organized Lake Sound Splash. You know, uh -huh. and uh, the, the, the Lake Sound Splash was the first thing I did immediately I came out of school. I just came back from youth service and that was the Lake Sound Splash. And I went for it and uh, Polygram signed me on. As they signed me on, they were doing the job. It was in 19, uh, 1988, we did that Lake Splash. The job was on the process. Then I got a job in EMI as a sound engineer. So I was working in EMI. Then we finished the production. Uh, so I wanted to release it. And then my director said, why don't I release it here? I said, I already have a contract with Polygram. Uh, and then we tried to get it from Polygram, but Polygram refused. <laughs> So that was the thing I you know I can say about it. Polygram okay. didn't want me to, to didn't want to lose me. Uh, because yeah, they, had, yeah, so they wanted me and he yeah, had me as a staff, mm -hmm. you know. So I had no option that to release with uh, Polygram. Polygram. Now, if you're just tuning in, the program is still the polygrams and places of television kept TV for short. Don't go nowhere because we still have more with NDK. Welcome back to People Events and Places Web TV for short. I'm still with NDK. Yeah. Now you seem to moat. You know, in biology there is this thing about moat and you shade up another weight to bring up another style. Yeah. You are now an actor of notes. Yes. Nigerians are beginning to see you in more of Hollywood films and MNET serials. Yes. And how did you transform from being a musician? Even though I know that they are all arts, how did you transform into yeah. acting? Actually, you see, the, the, what you're seeing now is acting. But this acting also have always been with me. In fact, while in uh, as a little boy, I used to write plays. Then we do it uh, in church, in our church, uh, Christmas carol and all that. We are doing them. Then in secondary school, I was in drama club. Then in the university, I was with Center for Cultural Studies and we were doing theater, you know, a lot of theater. Then uh, doing national service, I with some friends formed the NYC Drama and Cultural Troupe. <laughs> 